Good day, my name is Mark Malore. I'm an attorney in Riverside, California. I want to speak with you briefly today. A number of my clients are having financial difficulties in these hard economic times. They're facing foreclosure, loan modification, short sale on their home. Uh, they've got construction issues, litigation issues, or business litigation issues. So that because of the financial difficulties, one of their options they're considering is the filing of bankruptcy. I thought it might be useful in these situations to give you some information and in making a distinction between a Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 filing as an individual. The first distinction I need to make between a Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 filing is that in a Chapter 7 filing, uh, the, the bankruptcy is completed within 90 to 120 days, whereas a Chapter 13 filing is a repayment program that takes three to five year period. Now, the second distinction I need to make is that in a Chapter 7 filing, you can discharge all your debt to your creditors. Chapter 13, however, because it's a repayment period or repayment program, you're repaying a portion of the debt, whether that's 10 cents on the dollar or 90 cents on the dollar, you're repaying a portion of that debt over a three to five year period based on what the trustee assigns to you. So it's not a complete uh, discharge of all your debt until the three to five year period has completed and you've made your payments in a timely fashion during that period of time. The next distinction that I think is important to make for you is that in a Chapter 7 filing, you must qualify. In other words, you have to, your income has to fall below the California median income uh, for qualification and filing a Chapter 7. If it falls above the California median income um, on the books, then the only option available to you is a Chapter 13 filing. It's a very important distinction to make. And finally, for those homeowners and folks that are facing a loss of equity in their home, as many people and many of my clients are in the Inland Empire, many people are coming across the term uh, lien stripping and, and considering the use of a bankruptcy filing in order to strip the second from their home to increase the amount of equity they have. If that's something you're considering doing and, and considering filing bankruptcy for that purpose, understand that you can't use a lien stripping process in a Chapter 7 filing. Lien stripping is only available to you in a Chapter 13 repayment program. So make sure that if you're considering doing so, uh, a Chapter 13 is going to work for you. If you have any questions or, or need any additional assistance in reviewing your situation, feel free to give my office a call and make an appointment for a free consultation.